Now look at this. The real reason your hair isn't getting longer is because it's breaking off as it grows. Queen, hair grows every day. Hair retention is down to how you care for your hair. Hair care is very important. That is why I came up with this herbal tea rains to help you combat your shedding and breakage. I hope you try it because the more your hair is shedding and breaking, you will be unable to retain length. You will be unable to grow thicker and fuller hair. I have been able to improve my hair growth from sparse to volume just by using these herbs. Not just by using them, but by using them consistently. Emphasis on the word consistent. This herbal spray will help you grow really long and thick hair because it will arrest your hair breakage and shedding the moment you take away your shedding and breakage your hair will flourish you will retain length your hair will no longer be stuck at same hair length your hair will increase in volume to begin grab a jar like so make sure all apparatus to be used are sterilized and clean my fourth ingredient for today's recipe is chebe powder. I kind of wonder why no one is talking about chebe powder anymore. I could remember when everyone raved about chebe powder, but all of a sudden, everyone forgot about chebe powder. Just know that chebe still does magic to hair, okay? And this Chadian recipe is an amazing one so grab yourself some and start using them for the proportion i'm measuring out one tablespoon of the sherbet powder moving on to the next ingredient i've got cloves cloves buds if you have the powder that's even more amazing you can use them but if you don't have please use your cloves buds in one tablespoon Next up is Moringa powder. We are going to be using Moringa powder for this recipe. Ever since I realized that Moringa is responsible for thickening of hair, Moringa helps with hair thickness, I never joke with this Ayurveda. So I use that in one tablespoon. Another ingredient that we are using for this recipe is Neem powder. Another amazing herb another amazing ayurveda is neem if you don't have neem in your stash please go purchase one you can buy from amazon you can make yours yourself that's basically it i use that in one tablespoon our next ingredient is hibiscus flowers whether you're using the flowers or you're using the powder both are the same the most important thing for you to do is to use hibiscus flowers. For those of you always asking me if um, my recipes are good for low porosity hair, of course they are good. I try to combine my recipes so that it can soothe low porosity hair and high porosity hair. I for one, I have low porosity hair so it would be nice for me to use products that are high in protein as they can mess with my hair so i added about three flowers of the hibiscus and then i poured really hot water to it about 500 ml worth left it on my table for 12 hours after 12 hours it must have infused properly and i proceeded to strain just like what you're seeing on your screen grab your spray bottle and transfer your filtrate to it and this goodness is ready guys do not joke with this hairspray that's how i would normally tell you guys do not joke with and some of you will be joking with it those of you that will take it seriously would always always come to the comment section to share their feedbacks so like i always say do not joke with this Spray on your hair as a leave-in to hydrate your hair before you apply your leave-in conditioner. The reason why your hair dry up with these herbs is because 
you don't apply leave-in conditioner especially for those of you that leave it in but if you are rinsing it out no problem if you want to rinse this out all you need to do is just to apply your shampoo and then follow up with your deep conditioner on wash day rinse that all out and then pour the tea rinse on your hair wait for 30 minutes before rinsing it off that way your hair will be strong enough it to strengthen your hair the best way that i love to use my herbal tea rings is just to apply it on my hair as a leave-in leave-in spray then i go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner and see with either hair growth oil hair pomade or hair grease whichever you like but I recommend hair grease I feel that hair grease seals in moisture better than other sealants like the butter and the oil if your shedding is too much especially those of you that are experiencing postpartum hair loss please use this as a leave-in and also a rinse out after you shampoo your hair deep condition after rinsing off your deep conditioner pour it on your hair for 30 minutes and then rinse off after 30 minutes and again when you want to moisturize you use it as a base before you apply your leave-in conditioner and then see with your sealant of choice so you have to be consistent with this if your shedding is more all right and again if you want your hair to thicken up these are the two ingredients you should incorporate in all your routine moringa neem cloves do not joke with this but most importantly use this particular spray that we spoke about on this video and it will do your hair a lot of good i've seen ha, i've seen a lot of people give me some mind-blowing feedbacks on this herbal ingredient so i know what i'm saying when i say you should try it so give it a shot you can remain consistent with it for a period of three months before you can switch those of you saying it doesn't work for you it doesn't work for you it is gin where where was gin when my hair was passed huh? where was gin so you have to be consistent with this if you must see results gin or no gin hair care is very important so do not joke with hair care that's all for today's video subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video and share with your whatsapp group that's all see you on my next one bye